So Mr. Riddle's wave machine, Holly Lodge wave machine made from kebab sticks, jelly babies and duct tape. So it's just a big long stretch of duct tape tied on to a couple of the retort stands, clamped to a bench. The jelly babies represent the particles that would be involved in the propagation of a transverse wave. And for this particular wave machine, I used four boxes of jelly babies. I think that worked out at something like 218 jelly babies. And um, well, you can see the number of um, kebab sticks used as well. So, when you want to set up a wave, give it a bit of a twizzle, and you will see that the jelly babies move perpendicular to the direction of the wave and it demonstrates beautifully how a transverse wave behaves. So you can change the frequency, you can see the effect that it has on the wavelength. Or you can wait until you maybe want to demonstrate reflection. So set up a wave, watch it travel to the end, hit a boundary and return. And the pretty cool thing is it just looks pretty good as well. Excellent discussion point. Students really captivated just because basically they want to eat it. But they have a lot of fun interacting with it as well and twizzling it and watching the waves travel and so forth. So it's been a fabulous little piece of kit. Don't think I can actually cope with taking it apart now. But there you go. Definitely try it out. Give it a go next time you're teaching waves.